week. I want to show you that it's possible that a pest becomes a pleasure. Stay tuned. So you see this little critter? These are tent caterpillars. They just hatched probably last week. They're still tiny. They get to be about this long. They're in groups of 150, 250, quite large. Sometimes you see, like in this tree, there's two nests right in the tree. These used to be the greatest pest in the apple monoculture orchard. There would be a thousand trees eaten down in June so that it looked like it was winter out of 3,000 trees. That's a disaster. That's horrible. You can't grow an orchard that way. One, the trees won't produce this the year that they're eaten and they make no reserves because they have all they have hardly any leaves in them. So the year after. So two out of every three years there's almost no harvest. So how can that be a pleasure? Well oh you even see here's the here's where the eggs hatched. I'll show you a close-up of that. And so that was a problem and at the same time I was reading a book by Sir Albert Howard great great book classic called the soil and health and in that book he showed that the pest or disease or a weed are not the problem they should be viewed as our professors it's pretty easy to read something but it's another thing to really grasp what it means it took me five years to digest that one sentence and really accept that Yes, you know, these caterpillars that we had, and they still have a few, they're not a problem. They're pointing that there is some kind of problem in the orchard. And it's not always easy to admit what the main problem was. In our case, the main problem was that it was an, a monoculture apple orchard. That was the problem. Fast forward. <laughs> Seven years later, when we had transformed, redesigned, and replanted the permaculture orchard, we realized that after we planted, these started again, because they're in cycles, peak about every four years. And we found, hey, you know what? They are not a problem like they once were. Since we've replanted, we haven't had an incidence of eating more than one branch on a tree. Now you think, well, that's still eating a whole branch. When you compare that to eating the whole tree and probably the tree next to it, this is nothing. And in fact, that's the most damage. Most times they'll eat two or three branches here, really unnoticeable. Sometimes they'll eat half a branch and in the rare occasion that they eat the whole branch, you can't imagine what a change that is and you say, well, how come they're not eating it? Because now that we have such biodiversity in trees, in shrubs, in perennials, in all kinds of plantings, that attracts and creates the ecosystem, creates the habitat for the birds you hear, for the insects, for the predatory insects. This caterpillar has gone from being a pest to a pleasure. A pest? To a pleasure. Imagine that. All because of a good permaculture design based on high biodiversity of planting of trees and then of insects and of birds and of wildlife. So this year make it a point to not jump to conclusions that a pest I have a pest it's terrible. Start looking at them not as a pest but as your professor, start asking them, what are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to tell me? Does that mean I know why every pest is here? No, but I've learned with these, which were the worst pest, that they can become a pleasure. If you like this video, subscribe. Come back next week, we'll have another one. Thanks a lot for watching. Can you imagine these little guys are there and sent by nature to teach me something?